Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl. In this problem, we're asked to find the surface area of the portion of the plane z equals 12 minus 3x minus 2y that's in the first octant. Now I already have a sketch of what that plane will look like in the first octant. So I know that I can calculate the surface area by using a double integral. So my surface area equals the double integral over the region ds. And then I can also write that as the double integral over the region of the square root of 1 plus the partial of f with respect to x squared plus the partial of f with respect to y squared dA. Now in order to do this, I have to make sure that my function f as well as the, the partials are both continuous, but they will be in this case. So let's go ahead and get those partials. So the partial with respect to x. Taking the partial with respect to x, I'll treat y as if it's a constant, so that first partial is just a minus 3. The partial with respect to y, I'll treat x as if it's a constant, so that's going to be a negative 2y, excuse me, negative 2. So let's go ahead and plug that into my problem. So I'm going to have the double integral of the square root of 1 plus negative 3 squared, which is 9, plus negative 2 squared, which is 4 dA. This is just going to be the square root of 14, which is a constant, so I can pull it outside of my integral. So I've got the square root of 14 times the double integral over a region. Okay, now, if you would like to use a double integral, to evaluate this, you can. However, let's take a look at our picture and see what that region is that I'm integrating over. The region in the xy plane is this little piece, which is a triangle. This is going to calculate the area of that region. I don't need a double integral to do that. I have a geometry formula for it. So I can say that this is the square root of 14 times 1 half the base, which is going to be 6, times the height of that triangle, which is 4. And so I can cancel. And I can say that this is going to be 12 times the square root of 14. And again, we're dealing with surface area, so it will be in square units. I hope that was helpful. Thanks.